Adele. The definitive name in video gaming. What? How are you? This is yours truly, Tech Your Guy, coming at you. The date of this recording is October 17, 2019. And today I am coming at you with a Dell gaming laptop G5 15. They're a model number 5590. Uh, let me get this out of the way. I'm suffering from a massive, massive migraine today, and I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm trying to uh, make this video. <laughs> All right, so this gaming laptop G5, uh, the base configuration comes in at 889, although it is the specs of the base model leaves a little bit of a room for desire. There is a reasonable spec bump happening at about $1,225 mark where the CPU gets upgraded to i7 and the GPU gets uh, bumped to GTX 1660. And then there's another spec bump happening right around $1,470 mark where you are going to now get 16 gigabytes of RAM and the GPU being upgraded to RTX 2060. This particular model that I am going to talk to you about today has the GPU RTX 2070 with the 16 gigabytes of RAM and it clocks in at $1,900. And then let's get the dimensions out of the way. It is 14.3 inches wide, 10.8 inches deep, and then 0.95 tall. So it is a pretty hefty laptop and it uh, weighs in at about six pounds. It has a bit of hard, rounded off and yet definitive edge on all sides. So when you are carrying it, it is actually grippy and it feels good in the hands. That's what I more or less care about. And then let's go over the specs. Inside, it boasts 9th generation Coffee Lake Core i7, 9750H, 12 megabytes of cache, 6 core, and as mentioned earlier, it has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM 2066, 2666 megahertz. And this model that I'm talking to you about today has one terabyte of NVMe M.2 PCIe solid state storage. And again, as mentioned earlier, it has the NVIDIA RTX 2070 GPU with eight gigabytes of GDDR RAM. And the screen, which I'll talk a little bit more about later on, is a 15.6 inches IPS display panel at 300 nits. As far as wireless connectivity is concerned, nothing to really write home about. 802.11ac with Bluetooth 4.2. What is powering the laptop is 90 watts of a battery, which sits right here under, right here alongside the uh, bottom. If you open the back cover, 90 watts again, uh, and it's branded Alienware, which Alienware is owned by Dell. When you're not on the go, and if you're powering up through actually plugging into a wall socket, you have this uh, power break, which is an absolute unit. So let's just start with the initial impression. I believe this model, G515 gaming laptop from Dell, should be considered, given serious consideration, if you are picking out a laptop that is capable of providing you with solid gaming performance, and yet at the same time does not scream that you are a gamer. Especially when you have to draw the line between performance and just, you know, bragging rights. If your main goal is to show up at a gaming LAN party and you just want to stand out as one with the most annoying looking laptop, this is not the one for you. It has very clean, streamlined look. The white exterior top and bottom is gonna be super susceptible to any sort of a dirty hands. If you have orange Cheetos fingers and then you touch this, that is gonna be bad news for this exterior. And that white exterior finish also gives you somewhat of a subdued, understated appearance versus, you know, garish RGB lights blinking everywhere. 
that kind of appearance and that also uh, speaks to me well but it also they'll try to give you a little bit of a customized look that we are now all familiar with on like the desktops where they have the see-through window and you can see the water cooling pipes and all the RGB lights inside and all that good stuff so on the bottom you will see how they have a uh, cutout well not cutout but um, window right here where you can take a look at the cooling fans and the uh, heat pipe in blue right there what I also like is uh, the thoughtful design uh, by the Dell designers where they have put most used ports right on the rear of the laptop where you all the cables going in will not get in the way on either side and also kind of keeps that uh, cleaner look. And uh, while we are at it, let's do talk about the ports. On the right hand side, what you're going to see is the full SD card slot and USB 3.1 type A. And on the back side, you have the barrel connector, power input barrel connector here, and HDMI, another USB super speed 3.1 type A, and mini display port, and then the killer gigabit ethernet security lock slot. And on the left hand side of the laptop, what you're gonna see is the uh, Thunderbolt USB type C, another super speed uh, USB 3.1 type A, and audio combo jack so because of the uh, gaming laptop chassis which is a blessing in disguise what you're gonna get is a somewhat of a beefier chassis because of all the stuff they need to cram in there what you are also going to get is you know the company's not necessarily skimping out on io ports like how macbooks have to come out being so thin and as mentioned earlier, Dell does own Alienware and the branding of Alienware does show up every now and then such as uh, the built-in battery as well as Alienware Dell Command Center Utility Application. And that utility application is um, capable, you, you use it to customize your experience, such as your audio experience and a little bit of a tuning, tweaking here and there, gives you status of your computer, the CPU temperature, the fan speed, so on and so forth. And then as you are gaming with a laptop in this orientation facing you, the speakers are completely front firing and to be honest with you, the uh, speakers were a lot better than I thought in terms of output. I wasn't muffled, wasn't too high pitch or too much of a low frequency, none of that. I felt it was pretty good. However, if you are gaming, I understand most likely you use headphones or so, does it really matter? No, but uh, for your media consumption normally and uh, without headphones just uh, enjoying music or you know watching YouTube whatever speakers are more than capable of handling so that kind of wraps up my initial impression so now let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this laptop the large 15.6 inch full HD display is easy on the eye and it does more than adequate job of handling interaction between the machine and your human eyes it's pleasant whether you're doing your productivity work or media consumption or gaming. However, I feel it's somewhat muted in terms of color. Again, disclaimer here is that I am a uh, somewhat of a color deficient, color blind and color challenged. But um, so the colors look a little bit muted and I believe the display could use a little bit more of brightness. Now let's not, uh, you know, mistake. You could spend $4,000, $5,000 and get a much better, better spec, more, you know, powerful gaming laptop. But this laptop at $1,900 would give you more than plenty, more than adequate stellar gaming experience, even if it's not best in class. And as mentioned earlier, what I like about this laptop is, um, pretty decent offering of io ports so any peripherals that you have to connect you're not going to be short on ports and then you know the clean appearance with hint of customization um so 
it's again muted understated it's not garish i do like that because when you're buying a laptop you're not just buying it for pure gaming you will have your social media activity you will be working on your emails and if you're a professional you may have some productivity work and even if you're a um, somewhat younger generation playing video games in your college or high school you still have schoolwork to do and such so you know all I tend to focus more on overall value and overall build and overall use of laptop, not just 100% focused on gaming. So when you look at in terms of such, then the laptop actually does come pretty nice. So what I so what do I not so much care about this laptop? The top display lid has super flex. I mean, it is this is ridiculous. The hinge is solid where it's, it has big, thick, solid, sturdy hinge. So this action right here, as you're opening the lid up and down, that is smooth. It has plenty of resistance. That feels good. But the top lid flex is extremely noticeable. However, the base bottom uh, flex is completely reasonable so no issue there inevitably during the course of your usage you'll be typing things once or twice and so the keyboard becomes your interface for that and keyboard leaves plenty of room for improvement in my opinion of course the gold standard would be the uh, ibm lenovo thinkpad keyboards now this keyboard here um it is rgb backlit you can control the uh, the backlit keyboard via the F10 function key and it gives you off, on, and then brighter on and then it goes back to off. The keyboard is somewhat mushy in attack and I don't, I didn't really enjoy typing on this keyboard much at all. And then in terms of, um, you know, what I don't much care for, of course, this laptop has a 15.6 inch display, so it is going to be large. However, I don't know why this laptop just feels huge when you're carrying it around. The perception is larger than it actually is. And, you know, of course, that's going to be up to personal uh, preference and personal experience. So I don't know what that all, I, I don't know if that uh, perception will translate to you, but. I don't know, it just seems, seems large. And then to me, the biggest issue with this laptop is the incredible fan noise, as demonstrated here. So even when the laptop is working just a little bit we're not even talking about pushing it through you know video game where every pixel's working and everything is just firing the fans are fans kick on early fans kick on often and fans kick on loud and um so that is one of the issues and obviously that also means it has a thermal issue and the heat is um heat is on baby and uh, when you have your hand on top of the keyboard as such, you could kind of feel that heat dissipating through the uh, gaps underneath each um, chiclet keyboard keys. Battery life, as mentioned earlier, has a 90 watts battery, which would give you under the normal circumstance, meaning you're not engaging the RTX 2070, you're just using the Intel HD uh, built-in card for productivity work, uh, watching YouTube, uh, streaming Netflix, and doing productivity work with about 80% of a screen, uh, screen brightness with uh, audio firing, Wi-Fi firing, you're gonna you you're gonna get this slightly above five hours, not quite six hours of usage, and that time drastically drops down once you engage the RTX 2070 and you're using battery for your video gaming at um, reasonable power performance level. You're gonna you're you will not get two hours. Um, I I remember I was able to play more than an hour, 
but not quite two hours. So battery is gonna be a Achilles heel for this laptop in terms of a power consumption. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up for this episode of Dell G515. It's a, I feel like it's a pretty well put together laptop. It is well specced, um, pretty decent value. Doesn't scream I'm a uh, childish video gamer. Uh, you could definitely walk into an office or even boardroom with this laptop. Plenty of a screen real estate space. I'm getting old, so it is harder for me to see finer things. So uh, the big screen with the pretty crisp 1984 HD does look nice to me. The input, the trackpad is excellent. However, keyboard leaves a little bit of room for desire. So other than that, if you are some, if you're in between casual gamer to hardcore gamer, I think this laptop suits right in between. Um, it'll give you more than adequate gaming performance, um, but it also won't drain your wallet in four thousand dollars from other competing vendors. Now, speaking of other competing vendors, uh, please do click subscribe, hit like button, hit the bell notification. Uh, in about a week or two, I'll be coming out with another review video from this time Origin PC, and I've never tested an Origin PC before, so I am actually very pumped about that episode. But again, uh, also you clicking on subscribe and like and all that does support this channel a lot, helps the video a lot as well. So there you go. That uh, sums up the video for G515. 5590. Until next time, thank you for watching. Be good humans. I've been Take Care Guy. You've been awesome.